Stacy, I have four bottles of water here. A uh, few of them. Oh, the clear is cold and the hot, and uh, the red is hot. Red is hot. You're sure that's the same over here, too? Yeah. Okay. So you and I are going to investigate convection currents. Do you know what that means? Yeah, we took them aside this year. It's uh, the treads of heat through liquids or gases. Yeah. But it's the entire chunk of gas or liquid that moves from one place to the other. Right. Not just the transfer of energy. Well, we're going to... Uh, I'll, I'll show you how to do this. I'll do it with this pair, and you do it with that pair. All right. What you do is you place the card over the top like that, and then turn the bottle upside down, and then slip it over like this, so you get the two bottles lined up as well as you can. Okay? Should I put the red on top, too? Yeah, no, you put the, the cold on top. Okay. You gotta sort of turn your hand over first so it's all set. That's the idea. My fingers are getting caught in there. There, there you go. Now, what we're going to do is pull out the cards. Okay. So the bottles, the water can mix. Up. Okay? I want you to predict what's going to happen. With this? When I pull out this card? Okay, yeah. Now, when you pull that card out, I'll hold, I'll hold it. Go ahead. Sir, should no, I no, no, wait. I want you to predict first. Okay. Oh, you know. Uh, I think that the... It's going to mix a bit. What's going to happen? The, the, the red is going to go up or down? In this case, it's going to only go up, right? Right, but the cold is going to come down. Right, and in this case, with the, the hot on top? It's going to have to come down because of gravity. Oh. Or just mix a bit. Okay, let's try it. First, let's do this one. All right. Except for the leaks. That makes it very much. Just a bit at the top. Now, think about cold and hot water. Which is the most dense, cold or hot? Cold, because the molecules are closer together. Right. So gravity pulls down on the cold more than on the hot. Yeah. So sure this is going to stay there. So w nothing is can, can go up. Because there's no space between the molecules yeah. for the red ones to go in between. Well, no, no, it's not going in between. The fact that there are the molecules of the cold water are more dense, they're closer packed together, therefore they're in effect heavier and gravity pulls down on them. Okay, so what when, when I put this down, everything's going to come down, this is going to go up. Right, because gravity's going to pull down on there. Do you think you can do it? I'll try. Is it lined up? Okay. Aha. Oh, You're right. it's really going up. Yes. A lot faster. This didn't have any. Well, this, this shouldn't stay there until the two of them get the same temperature. Then there might be some intermixing. But as long as the, co the hot was down here, the cold water is being forced down by gravity, pushing in. And all the air is coming yeah. up? Well, a the couple of bubbles of air going in there. So every time you heat up you know, uh, a gas or a liquid, these sort of convection currents will take place. So let's do it now in a more normal thing. Let's leave those there and hope they don't fall over. Here is a beaker full of water. And I've had it sitting here for half an hour, so it's nice and still. Okay. And it's, but notice it's sitting on the edge of the stove. Use the spoon, the back end of the spoon as a sort of spatula, and put some of this dye over on this side, and then some of the dye over on that side. Okay. In other words, on the cold side and the hot side. Meanwhile, I'll turn on the... Better keep this thing okay, over there. Okay, now try it on the other side. And watch what happens now as the, wa the water is heated on one side and remains at the same temperature on the other. Look what's happening. See the convection currents? Yeah, it's sort of swirling. Sure, almost. sort of swirling because the water on this side is, is um, lighter and the water on this side is heavier, so gravity pulls it down here and makes it swirl around like that. So that takes place every time you heat a liquid or a gas unevenly, and they're called convection currents.